Hi guys, what's up? This is Manas and in this tutorial we're going to be preparing or constructing the isometric projection of a sphere, the sphere placed centrally over the top of a square slab. All right. So its isometric projection is supposed to be prepared and I have already told you that the isometric projection can be drawn with the help of an isometric scale. And if you've seen my previous videos, uh, you should have realized that all of them were based on isometric views in which true scale or true dimensions of the object right from their orthographic views were taken and then isometric views were constructed. But when you speak of isometric projection, isometric lengths are to be used. Okay, Isometric lengths are slightly smaller than the true lengths. All right, because there is a factor of 0.82 or 0.815 precisely. Okay, that's the isometric scale. All right, so let's start with this uh, orthographic projection and which we are going to convert into isometric projection. All right, so for that, we initially have to start off with an isometric scale construction. Okay, now we have three different dimensions. We have this 50 as the highest dimension. Then we have this 15, 1, 5 and this radius is 25. All right, so what we're going to do is we'll initially construct this isometric scale. So let's see how that can be constructed. Okay guys, so we are here and initially we are going to draw a line, simply a baseline and from this line at an angle of 45 degree, the highest dimension has to be made. Alright, so the angle is going to be 45 degrees and this is the line, 50 mm long line. So you need to keep your scale over here and there are three dimensions whose corresponding isometric lengths are supposed to be calculated or found out and they are. 15, 25 and 50. So keep your scales over here, then it's going to be 0 over here, somewhere around here we're going to have 15, here it's going to be 25 and this is going to be 50 and it's going to look something like this, alright. Now again we need to draw one more line but this one is going to be at an angle of 30 degrees and that's what you call the um, isometric axis, alright and something like this. Okay, what we're going to do next is we're going to draw vertical lines down below from this 50, from this 25 and from this 15. Now these three vertical lines are going to intersect this blue line somewhere here, here and here. So and this dimension is ultimately going to give us the isometric length. Alright, it's going to look something like this. Watch carefully. So these are the vertical lines. These are the intersection points and these three points correspond to isometric 15, isometric 25 and isometric 50. Okay, so from this point to this point, this is the isometric length corresponding to this true length. Okay, so if the true length is 15. Okay, from this point to this point, this over here corresponds to the isometric length. Alright, so now you guys know how to make an isometric scale and then we're going to move forward for construction of isometric projection. Alright, now let's start. Okay guys, so what we're going to do is initially I'm going to be drawing this um, baseline. Alright, and somewhere along this baseline I'll draw a line over here. Alright, I'm going to show you how it is going to be a line over here and one more line over here. Now these two lines are going to be at an angle of 30 degrees. But what is the length of this, these two lines? Okay, the length is going to be, I'm going to show you the isometric length. Now this is 50. Okay, so I'm going to draw this slab, uh, slabs isometric projection over here. Okay, so this slab is 50 by 50 by 15 in true length, but it's corresponding isometric but we are drawing its isometric projection and hence we need to take its isometric length and that isometric length is going to be working out as I'll show you how much it is let's make this ISO 50 so this length is actually no that's not the one this length is actually going to work out as you can keep your compass uh, two legs of your compass over here and then you can have the length so this is working out as 40.82 all right 40.82 so what I'll do is please watch this carefully I'll again draw this. So I need to move here at an angle of 30 degrees a distance of 40.82. That's it. Same thing has to be done here also. Again a distance of 40.82 at an angle of 30 degrees with respect to this baseline over here. Okay, guys. Okay, so this is done. 
uh, the square slabs base has been prepared and we're going to keep your adapters over here tighten the screw and bring your adapters over to this point draw a line all right then again the same stuff has to be repeated keep it over here along align along this line tighten the screw move forward and from this point draw a line so that's what you call the base okay now to give it some height you can clearly see that this true height is 15 so its corresponding isometric height is going to change slightly less than 15 so let us figure out how much it exactly is 15 so it's going to be 15 corresponds to this one over here let's see how much it figures out from this point to this point so this is working out as how much is it this is working out as 12.25 all right so we're gonna give it a height of all these four points are supposed to be given a height of 12.25 okay vertically 12.25 all right so i'm gonna copy this over here over here and here all right now i'm gonna join all these four points okay and it should look something like this right now this portion these three edges will not be visible so i'm erasing them right now all right and the next thing to be done is to locate this point this basically is a sphere which has been placed centrally so this center point of this slab has to be found out and it can be done in a um, very easily easy way and done so that's the center point and here i'm going to locate a point you guys can do so with the help of your pencil and i'm going to delete these lines so that's the point this is the center point above which the sphere has been placed all right now this orthographic view which you see right now you clearly see that this is the height of the center of the sphere above this point connecting point between the slab and sphere all right and this is obviously going to work out as 25 millimeters so i'm going to show you how much it is this is going to work out as 25 millimeters obviously all right but this is the true length okay so its corresponding isometric length is also going to change so how much that length is we're going to figure out okay so that length is going to be this much let's see how much it is this point to this point so this is going to be working out as 20.41 all right so we, we're going to go upstairs from this point okay where, where is the point 20.41 20.41 all right so that's that's the center point all right this is the center point where is it why can't i see it properly all right anyway through this center point i'm supposed to draw a circle now guys always remember the isometric projection of the sphere has the same radius as that of the true radius of the sphere okay now if you try to hold the sphere in front of you and if you keep it below your eye level above your eye level towards your right doesn't matter all right it will always be seen as a circle having radius equal to that of the original sphere and in this case this sphere is going to have a radius of 25 and its corresponding isometric projection will also have a circle of radius 25 so let's do this and this is the point and we're going to draw here a circle of 25 millimeters that's it so this over here guys is what you call the isometric projection of a sphere all right and this distance in fact let me show this this distance in fact is what you call i'm going to write here um iso radius rad all right i'm going to delete this this is iso radius fine and there are portions which are supposed to be darkened let me do this that's it and few more all right guys so there you have it isometric projection of a sphere placed centrally on the top of a square slab 50 by 50 by 15 and the sphere was having a radius of 25 millimeters okay so there is only one similarity between isometric projection and orthographic projection and that is the radius of the circle okay the radius of circle and isometric projection is equal to the radius of sphere and orthographic projection all right guys so that was all from my side and if you have any doubts any queries any questions feel free to ask i'll try to answer in the best possible way and as quickly as possible 
So guys, that was all from my side. This is Manas Patnaik signing off. Take care. Have a great day and keep drawing.